The Hal Tejas program began in 1983 when India set out to build its own light combat aircraft to replace the MiG-21. What should have been a short, affordable project turned into one of the longest development cycles in modern fighter aviation history. Design challenges, aerodynamic issues, engine changes, certification hurdles and repeated restructuring pushed the program far behind schedule. What was once planned for the 1990s finally reached squadron service more than 30 years later. With every delay, project costs kept rising, turning Tejas into one of India's costliest indigenous defence programmes. The Tejas Mark I and Mark I-A that eventually entered service used the American GE F404 engine and a digital fly-by-wire control system. Their delta wing design gives strong agility and sharp handling. The Mark I-A in particular brings major upgrades an AESA radar, an improved electronic warfare suite, compatibility with Astra and ASRAAM missiles, a modern cockpit, in-flight refueling and reduced maintenance time. It is a clean and modern light fighter with strong avionics and good manoeuvrability. But the aircraft also carries real drawbacks. The first issue is the extremely slow development timeline, which delayed induction by decades and heavily increased project cost. The second is the reliance on foreign engines. Despite being called indigenous, Tejas depends completely on US-made GE engines, which makes India dependent on external suppliers. The third limitation is that Tejas has never been used in actual combat. It has no wartime missions, no confirmed kills, and no real-world strike experience. Production rates have also been slow, and engine shortages further delayed Mark 1A induction. For years, Tejas had a clean safety record, but that changed recently. In March 2024, a Tejas Mark I crashed near Jesselmer after a training mission. The pilot ejected safely and early investigation suggested an oil pump or lubrication failure. The second crash came in November 2025 during a high-speed aerobatic display at the Dubai Air Show. The aircraft crashed and exploded on impact, resulting in the loss of the pilot. This high-profile incident raised serious concerns at the exact moment India was trying to market Tejas to international buyers. These two crashes, 2024 in India and 2025 in Dubai, are the only recorded Tejas accidents so far, but they have influenced global perception. Meanwhile, Tejas Mark II represents India's attempt to build a larger, medium-weight fighter that can replace Mirage 2000s, MiG-29s and Jaguars. It will use the more powerful GE F414 engine, carry more fuel and more weapons, and integrate advanced radar and Indian missile systems. However, MK2 is not yet operational. It has not flown, and real induction is expected toward the late 2020s or early 2030s. For now, Mark II remains a future design, not an active fighter. In contrast, Pakistan's JF-17 entered service in 2007, almost two decades earlier. Designed jointly with China, it focused on affordability, fast production and real combat usability. The latest JF-17 Block 3 variant features an AESA radar, helmet-mounted display, advanced electronic warfare systems and the ability to fire the long-range PL-15E missile, giving it serious beyond visual range capability. Unlike Tejas, the JF-17 has real combat experience. 
It has been used in precision strikes in counter-terror operations, border engagements and regional conflicts. Pakistan deployed the JF-17 during the 2019 tensions with India and again during the border crises with Iran and Afghanistan in 2024 to 2025. JF-17s have also been used by Myanmar and Nigeria in active combat roles. This gives the aircraft a proven operational history that Tejas does not yet have. In terms of exports, the JF-17 has already secured multiple customers, Myanmar, Nigeria and Azerbaijan, and new deals are under negotiation. It is one of the world's most widely exported budget fighters. Tejas, despite being offered to Malaysia, Argentina, Egypt and others, has not secured a single confirmed export order as of 2025. The Dubai crash has further slowed India's export momentum. When comparing capabilities, Tejas Mark 1A is technologically impressive with modern avionics and strong missile integration, but it lacks combat history and has been slowed by decades of delays. Tejas Mark II may become a strong medium weight fighter in the future, but it remains years away. The JF-17, on the other hand, is already combat proven, widely exported and continuously upgraded, especially in the Block 3 variant. In simple terms, Tejas represents long-term potential, while the JF-17 represents real-world performance. One is still fighting to prove itself, and the other has already established itself on the global stage. Science. Space. Future tech. Discover the wonders shaping tomorrow. Subscribe to Science Digest Pakistan and never miss a breakthrough. Like, share and comment.